a trip to our ecosystem. Introduction. Energy needs to be transferred through an ecosystem to support life at each trophic level. Energy transfer in an ecosystem. Discover how the energy in the ecosystem can be traced back to the sun. Basic concepts. Food chain vs. Food web. Producers versus consumers. The energy pyramid. Food chain versus food web. Objectives. First, to maintain an ecological balance. Second, the energy flow in the ecosystem is important. Third, the producers synthesize food by the process of photosynthesis. In this lesson, you'll learn to. First, we learn to differentiate food chains from food webs. Second, we define producers and consumers. Third, we illustrate the transfer of energy between organisms. Food chains. Before you can understand the movement of a food web, it's important to look at a food chain. In the simplest terms, a food chain shows you the movement of energy from producers to consumers. Examples of food chain. For example, a plant uses photosynthesis to make energy. The plant is then eaten by a worm. The worm is then eaten by a bird. This is a simple food chain. Did you know? There are five main types of ecosystems are forest, grassland, desert, tundra, and aquatic. More examples for food chain. Like grass is eaten by sheep and sheep is hunted by tigers. Food chains. A food chain can be longer or shorter, but it only follow a simple, linear series of step of energy from the producer to consumer that eat it. Now let's talk about food web. While a food chain follows a singular path of energy from a producer to a top predator, food webs illustrate the ways different animals are interconnected and interact in a food chain. Examples of food web for examples, it can be hard to follow the flow of energy without a visual because each different ecosystem has multiple producers and consumers. Primary consumers rabbits, deer, squirrels, birds. Did you know? Predators at the top of a food web are called top predators. Lions, crocodiles, sharks, whales, and birds of prey are often top predators in food webs. Secondary consumers' example of food web are fox, hawk. Difference between a food chain and a food web. Food chain, it is linear feeding hierarchy, following a single flow of energy. On the other hand, food web graphical model following the interconnected path energy takes in an ecosystem. Food chain includes four to six trophic levels. Similarly, food web have multiple trophic levels. In food chain, predators only feed on one specific consumer. But in food web, predators feed on multiple consumers. The power of the sun. The sun is the source of most energy on Earth. All processes on the planet can be traced back to the heat and light it radiates. What is the sun's role in food chains and food webs? A food chain is a linear network of links in a food web starting from producer organisms such as grass or trees, which use radiation from the sun to make their food and ending at apex predator species like grizzly bears or killer whales, detritivores like earthworms or woodless, or decomposer species such as fungi or bacteria. A food chain also shows how organisms are related to each other by the food they eat. Each level of a food chain represents a different trophic level. Also a food chain differs from a food web because the complex network of different animals feeding relations are aggregated and the chain only follows a direct, 
linear pathway of one animal at a time. Natural interconnections between food chains make it a food web. Producers and consumers. Producers. In an ecosystem, producers are organisms that create their own food. Producers are also called autotrophs. While in consumers, in an ecosystem, consumers are organisms that get their energy by eating plants or animals, while consumers are also called heterotrophs. Now let's see the transfer of energy between organisms. The arrows in the diagram show the direction of energy flow. The sun is the ultimate source of energy for all life on Earth. Plants use sunlight to produce food through photosynthesis. Animals eat plants to get the energy they need to survive. But when an animal eats another animal, it also gets the energy that the other animal had stored in its body. Food chain shows feeding relationships between organisms Food web, composed of several food chains, energy pyramid, represents the energy flow in the ecosystem. That's all for today on our beautiful ecosystem.